that's very terrible. You can hardly see the vehicle in front. This is deal. Yeah. Americans call it fog. <laughs> guys for my normal test you know I have an appointment this morning just for test you know <laughs> once you're pregnant here yeah, that is how you they'll be taking your blood samples and um, urine every month to run different types of tests you know so guys I'm officially in my last trimester it has not been easy honestly and anytime i'm coming for this um test i usually don't eat anything in the morning you have to come um empty stomach you know i'm here now but nobody is here they are not here yet i came a, a little bit earlier uh, my appointment should be by 7 30 but this is just i think 15 minutes past seven so nobody is here I'm just sitting outside waiting for them to come so that they can take my blood sample and then my urine for the test. That's all. It has not been easy. Ha. This morning was something else for me. I I think I'm just stressed out. I'm just so stressed out, honestly. The stress is just too much on me. I just pray that God will see me through, honestly. Because sometimes it feels like I have no strength left in me, you know. I just pray God will see me through. Honestly. So this is just me guys, you know, updating you people once again. We have um barely two months to go. Yeah. We have two months to go. So guys, let me show you guys my bone. What it looks like. Can you see that? This is what my bone looks like. <sighs> it's not easy. It's not easy, honestly. Oh no, 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 go no. <laughs> You know, once you appear, you smile and, you know, you just move around. It just looks as if everything is just so easy, you know, as if everything is just simple. But of a truth, guys, it's not easy at all. This journey is not easy. I just pray God to see me through. I know he will surely see me through it all. This is me just sitting down and feeling myself <laughs> after the test, you know. I'm just here waiting for my husband to come and pick me so we can start going home. <laughs> Three weeks later. Hi guys. We actually came for immunization. My son's immunization. See who they just gave injection now. <laughs> yeah, and this is... Um, his last immunization, yeah. For now, this is his last immunization for now. See, he gets to two years or so. Excited about yeah. So we made it. Although the, the immunization was delayed because when he he's supposed to take it, he was not feeling too strong. That was when that time we were in the hospital. So because of the antibiotics that he was, we couldn't come for the immunization. So that was why it was delayed. Here we are. Although we are done, we are done. And after taking the instructed us to just stay and wait for some time, you know, before going. 
so we are just here and I decided to pick up my phone and talk to you guys. Yeah. Today is 24th of December and here we are. Here we are. See my picture. So guys, we are going home now. <laughs> Yeah, after the immunization, we need to sit back a little while and wait for Hobby to come and take us home. So, we are inside the car, we are heading home. It's also summer dinner. Daddy, he's not in the mood though. Guys, he's not in the mood. He, don't, he doesn't feel like talking to anybody now. So we're... Oh! My God, we're heading home now. I'm so tired there. Eh? Oh my God. I'm so tired. This morning, while we were coming, the weather was so bad. Oh my God. It was so bad. There was dew. Or fog. Which one? <laughs> Any of them, Shep? So, guys, it's time to go home now. This is me at the hospital after one week again because my midwife referred me to the hospital this time for them to do proper scan, which is echography in Italian language. Yeah, here they checked the body parts of the baby and some of the organs i think so and this is just me relaxing at this point for them to you know check the heart rate of the baby dimension over there is to check the heart rate of the baby so they said my baby is breached they have to start preparing me for a c-section because i cannot give birth to a breached baby that his head is up and the legs are down so guys i'm just so sad ah so guys i'm so happy i'm so happy oh glory be to god in the highest guys i'm so happy you can't just as in how the, i don't even know how to describe how i feel right now i last appointment they told me that my baby is breached that um his legs are down while the head is up you know so because of that they said they have to um carry out cs on me so they started preparing me for cs but that let's just hope that he will eventually turn since i still have like um three weeks more before my delivery before my due date yeah so guys, today is actually my last appointment with my um, midwife, yeah, because yeah, once you're pregnant, they will assign you to a midwife close to your area. She'll be the one taking care of you as in checking you monthly, and that is where you'll also be going for your test and all that. So today is basically my last appointment with them. From now on, I'll not be going to the hospital directly, yeah, because the hospital is kind of um, very far from where we are staying. It's like 45 minutes drive or thereabouts from where we are living. But guys, do you know the good news? I just came out and guess what? My baby has turned his head is down now oh my god i'm so happy because i've been praying about it asking god to just do something because guys i i don't 
want to undergo any CS honestly. Especially now that I have a toddler to take care of and because of this pandemic. Because my husband will be going to work and I don't have anybody to help me. So healing will be a long process for me. And it will be a problem for me, you know, it will be very challenging. And I'm so happy my baby has finally turned. Yeah, I'm so super excited guys. And today's test there, uh, they did all manner of tests. I think they also did a pap test for me. They took sample for pap test, um, blood test, urine, and then now checked my blood pressure and everything. So that is all. I just wanted to keep you guys updated. I'm so happy. <sighs> now I'm happy. My mind is at rest now. I'm still trusting God for the remaining miracle, you know, for safe delivery. Finally. So that is all, guys, for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'm done with my appointment. I'm heading um, down now. <sighs> so go and wait for my husband to come and pick me. Guys, see, see my lips. That is what I've been suffering all through this pregnancy. Dry lips. Dry, very dry. Sometimes eh, my lips will just break. When I mean break. You will just be seeing cracks. Can you guys see that? No matter what I do to it. That's what I've been facing. Now. So that is all for this video. Thank you all for watching. Bye. And see you all in my next video. Bye. I'm gonna make you